Hey all, or cube. And there we are, shackles. Let's get back to the blue. Some thought-provoking drafts, instead of swinging sideways and burning, like chain lightning. And what can we hope to table? Image. I don't know if this card is should be in here anymore. Not that the legend rule's gone. I think it loses a lot of muster. But I'm just gonna jump all over islands and grab the shackles and see what wheels Braille rights, hinder, ouse, seagate, angel. That's what I'm looking at. So bam. Let's grab it. And pick two. Do I just take the thirst? I think that's where I want to go. Treat is okay. Not my favorite card. Uh, if we want to branch out to other colors, Eternal Witness is always solid. But I think I'll just take Thirst. Pretty clear, I think. Not a whole lot in that pack. There's Counterspell. Turning off that blue. And we take another counter spell. Gifts. A sweet card. If we take on burial rights, I think I'd be all over the gifts. But unless you're drafting res or combo, I think it loses quite a bit. So I'm more inclined to take just a straight counter spell or condemn. I think I like Condemn a little more. This format's very aggressive. So one mana answers are... I put a premium on. And I think it's a foregone conclusion that I'm going back to blue-white here. <coughs> Excuse me. Or I could go Magma Jet. I could go blue-red. But I'll jump in white. Floodplain, Frantic Search, Cascade Bluffs would have been good. Here's a Win Con, but I think I'd rather just take Fixing. All you need is a couple Win Cons and a Control Deck. So I'll just grab Floodplain. Ooh, Master Waves. Does good things. Grave Titan's a good finisher. Sar is good for digging, but I think Seagate will table for us. And after that one performance of Master Waves, I'm I'm a huge supporter of it. Uh, Stoneforge. I think we picked that up. As much as I like a remand, I think I'm going to take this off the off chance we get some equipment. It's early. Why not? Remand is so good, but... Ooh, Supreme Verdict. Alright, things are coming together. And I think I just want some creatures now, on the off chance we start picking up equipment. It's amazing how often this card tables. It's really powerful in the right deck. That being said, I think I want Force Spike. I think I'll go for some blue white aggression. And none of this is all that exciting. So I'll just take a disc. And Celestial Flare. Aetherling, Solid Pride Mage, might go into Bant, who knows, but uh, this looks like a pretty strong start. We have the makings to lean towards heavy control or we can go more aggressive. 
Condemn's a little off that strategy, but Flare is even good in an aggressive deck. Killing blockers is solid. And Bastion, helping us play Kasali Pride Mage. So, we can look towards green. Look towards fixing. Look towards Sword of Fire and Ice. This pack's great. Parallax Wave, Relic, Click, Metamorph, Char, Blood Baron, Grim Lavamancer. All these cards are great. But since we took the Stoneforge, made a little investment early, we're rewarded for Sword of Fire and Ice. So I think we want to get some critters going. Uh, Miri's pretty good for us. Pooping out tokens. Let him grab some sword. And maybe this grassland gets around. And we can really start looking towards Bant. I'm going to take a Miria. And here, where do we want to go? Hmm. We could jump into an Armageddon deck. I'm kind of excited about Enclave Cryptologist. Impulse as well. Maybe I just want a little more draw. Get things streamlined. Ophir's not exciting. Caracas is... Could be good. I'm just not that interested in playing Armageddon in this draft. Although it's so powerful. But I think we're just not going to be that type of deck. I'm going to just get some draw. Ooh. Shakashima student. That's a fun card. I would like a Mystic Gate, but there's plenty of other dual lands we can pick up. And I like clone effects. Hmm. Lingering Souls could be good. It's early enough we could pick up fixing for it. It's just a solid card. Talrand is okay, but I find it to be a little clunky. Time Warp could be fun. Atacar is okay. I think I'm going to take Lingering Souls and try to start stressing our fixing. I'll do some sort of token strategy. Like here, Brainstorm, isn't that exciting? I think I'll just take Flooded Grove. Make this Pride Mage a reality. So that I would take Knight of Glory. But it's not that strong. Porphos is a pretty solid card. Electrolyze too. But let's just start collecting lands. Like Battlefield Forge. Doesn't do much for us though. Then again, there's not a whole lot in here. Mentor the Meek. That's actually pretty good. We have Souls and a Mirror Angel. It's not my favorite card, but let's try it out. It's okay. Ooh. Sunken Runes. Journey. I think we have enough removal. I think I just want fixing here. Flicker Wisp could be good. It has some unique uses, but I want to play Lingering Souls. And Sunken Rose helps me do that to get full value from it. This shouldn't table ever. 
shame I didn't pick up that flicker wisp. Um, here I think I'll just take Sublime Archangel. Pretty good with tokens. And I'll take this for the board, I guess. Or I can take a Murmuring Blosk. If we could fetch it, if we find a fetch land, we'll be pretty solid on lands. Let's do that. Pithy Needle's okay, but it's not necessary for us. If our lands are good enough, we could play Etched Oracle. Is so that a Wall of Reverence? I think I'm going to take Wall. Yeah, our draw's pretty good. And Walls should be good against Aggro. Underground River, snagging it. I'll take Desperate. So going into pack three. Not gonna play bounce land. I wanna fill up our one drops. A little more disruption. And if we get away from all these land types and actually get islands to help our shackles be good. And get out of these four drops. Get one, twos, and better lands. Yeah, this cube, I think it's best to just stay under four mana, if at all possible. Seaside Citadel. Just first pick that fixing. I'm not tremendously excited to play Casali Pride Mage. Actually, I think I'm going to play Kira. I want to be immune to removal. Let's try that out. Wall of Omens. Edric. I think I'm going to snag him. Just draw, 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 draw. Shadow Mage Infiltrator is pretty cool too. But it, we're going to have a bunch of tokens hopefully. And we'll just... Drop this, swing for like four tokens. Draw our hand back. Let's hope that pans out. Alright, Soren. I think that's pretty clear. Dismiss tables or bad river. I'd be happy with both of those. But again, we gotta. I think we're gonna need a few more removal spells. Verdict, parallax wave. There's a plateau we don't need. Yeah, we have no red. I think I just take Cloudsgate. Something due on turn two. Yes. So if we get a Tundra or a Hallowed Fountain, that'd be fantastic. Just have all these filter lands. So base blue white, splash a little green, splash, splash a little black. Yeah, it's looking fun. Need a little help though. For this deck is rock solid. And there's a little help. Oh, this pack's great for us. Almost a little too good. Scrubland would be a welcome addition. But I think we got enough fixing on that front. I'm inclined to just take Mother of Runes. Mindstone, Mall Drifter, both would be good. Accelerating us into four drops is pretty solid. I'm not going to play the disc, I don't think. But I want to play Mother of Runes. Between that and Kira, it should be relatively easy for us to keep our swords equipped. Yeah, I'm gonna take mom. Vindicate. 
Godless Shrine would have been good too, but I need a catch-all. I currently don't have one, and Vindicate's a very good one to have. Another Ravages of War. Could have a good number of tokens, which makes me want to play Trade Wind Rider. Don't really need Yavin my Coast. Don't need another Pain Land that doesn't help me reach towards my blue mana for Shackles. Bane Charms, interesting. I think we have enough fours. Trade Winner is good, but I think I want Bane Charm. I want a little more disruption from our deck. Day of Judgment. That's looking good to me. Yeah, let's snag that. Engineering Explosives could be pretty good in our deck. We could get it all the way up to four. But I like Wrath. More the merrier. This would be a hell of a good deck for Revelark. Sadly, it didn't want to show up for us. Uh, Seaside Citadel? Huntmaster Tabling? I don't know what's going on. Actually, I might want Wickerbow Elder. One more versatile piece of removal. I want Seaside. Yeah, let's just get a little more fixing. The Shackles is not going to be great in our deck. But we could go base islands and just run through all the filters. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to take a defensive card. We need some ones and twos. Bad River. Pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't get any true duels. It's all wonky filters and tap lands. I'm actually gonna take Awakening Zone. Makes me wish I had Trade Wind Rider. But even suiting up these guys with swords could be fun. So that or Augur? Yeah, I'm gonna take Augur. Take a chance on Augur. Not my favorite card. Uh, no. Hate out the attrition, I guess. Petrify. We could play it. May even just do that. Uh, so this deck looks pretty versatile. May not even get to play Shackles. Mentor of the Meek, probably not going to make it. All that gold. Man, that's a ton of cards. Yeah, I guess this can come down here too. Alright, I don't think we need Aethling in this deck. Where can we cut the fat? Just have the one counter spell. That feels weird. I guess Bant's situational counter. Ugh. So 15, 16, 17-ish creatures. Lots of creatures. We gotta cut so much. Should we just cut green outside of Edric? What's our fixing look like? I think we can reliably play just about everything. Put that over here. So that's white, black, blue, white. So our 
blue black's pretty solid. Get green out of everything. Yeah, our mana's solid to play wherever we want. So maybe we stick our defensive cards in the sideboard. Actually, I just don't like Augur. I'd rather draw a card instead of maybe draw a card. And Mentor, I don't want to pay mana to draw cards. When Edric does the same thing at the 3 slot. I'll put Stoon. I guess Stoon can stay where it's at. Muriel, Master of Waves. Put that down there. So I like our creature base. Maybe we take out four spike. Maybe shackles. Disc. Don't need it. Bant charms just hard to cast. But it's a good piece of removal, but yeah. We have putrefy, kills creatures, vindicate, flare condemn. So we got draw spells. Maybe we play wave but take out our wraths. And play those only if we go against a really aggressive aggressive deck. Since we should be able to hold our own on board. So one card to cut here. Yeah, I don't want to cut a creature. Let's see what our mana looks like. So that's green white. Just for Pride Mage. Blue white for Edric. Black white. We can't really fetch this thing. And we're getting black here, here, here. May want to play it. Yeah, I think we just got to take out Shackle, sadly. Our first pick. Gone. And don't need to play this forest. What's that look like? Just, how many ways can I rearrange this? So we gotta add two more lands. I gotta figure out a, a better way to do my land counting. It's the most confusing way of doing things. Alright, so just need black for th four spells. So that's one, two, three, four. Green for one, two, three, four spells three spells. That's one, two, three. Yeah, our fetch lands just suck. We get white, blue, or black off it. Well, maybe we add... Shackle is just... I like the card. We could just bully up on islands to try and make it playable. Planes, four, five, six, seven. Islands, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Certainly need that white mana. Pride Mage just doesn't seem like it wants to fit in our deck. We're rarely going to have the green for it. 
whereas Putrefy and Edric are going to be more late game, so we can kind of wait around for them to show up. So I'm going to try and make the shackles work, I think. And do I add one forest just cause? I put this at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven islands. Plains four, five, six. I should get some more planes though. Cut the forest. Yeah, let's just play the boss as a pain land. It's a shame. This, does this tap for green? I think it does. <laughs> it's just weird reading. I think you can tap it for a forest or take pain to deal white or black. So we have five. Hmm. What I wouldn't give for just some fetch lands into dual lands. Probably should have grabbed that scrub land. All right. So pride mage in the board, wraths in the board, which might be a mistake. But we have parallax wave, shackles, some decent removal. All right. I'm sick of looking at it. Let's try it out. We have plenty of ways to. Maneuver this deck into a different focus. But I think this cube is so aggressive, I want to keep it pretty low. And then we can branch out into other things if need be, based on our matchups. Alrighty, let's see for round one.